Hello and welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with our manager, Xavi Hernandez, who tops the chart for most wins in the top five leagues in Europe in 2022. So impressive, isn't it? We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about our goalkeeper, Mark andre Ter Stegen, who is reportedly eyeing the Zamora Trophy win after a fine start to the season. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Awesome. On Saturday evening, Barcelona secured a 3 0 victory over Elche at Spotify Camp Nou to go to the top of La Liga standings. It was a convincing performance from the team after the midweek defeat to Bayern Munich. The result meant that Barca have now won five of their six matches in La Liga this season in a row after drawing the first game of the campaign against Rayo Vallecano. The team is starting to take shape, great shape under Xavi Hernandez as manager. And given the quality and depth in our squad, there is a very good chance that Barca could go all the way in the league this season. Saturday's win against Elche saw Barcelona equal some goal scoring records set by Pep Guardiola's Barca back in 2010 11 side. At the same time, the victory was Barca's 19 in La Liga in 2022 from 26 matches. So it means that Xavi has now won the most, have the most wins in the top five leagues in Europe in the calendar year, going past Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp, who have 18 wins in 25 matches. Xavi is also ahead of Real Madrid manager Carlo Anzolotti for the, on that list for most wins in Europe's top five league competitions in 2022, with the Italian tactician achieving 17 victories from 24 games this year. As far as their fine start to the new league campaign is concerned, 16 points out of the possible 18 mean this is Barca's best record at this stage of the season since 2017-18 when Ernesto Valverde led the team to six straight wins. You know, things are certainly looking up for Barca under their club legend Javi. And despite Real Madrid winning Atletico Madrid in the Madrid derby yesterday two goals to one, Barca still look like real contenders for the La Liga title this year under Javi's management. So it's really great to see how Xavi have been developing Barcelona to becoming a team that we all wanted to see, a team that competes for trophies. For the longest time, we have not won La Liga. I think since 2019, when Valverde was in charge, Barca have not won La Liga for three and a half years, which is a disgrace in, you know, when it comes to Barca standards. But with Xavi, we have hope. With the way we have been seeing the team competing, we have the hope. So. Barca and like the rest of the team going for international break, we are second in La Liga. We all hope that we could have been first, but Real Madrid disappointingly won Atletico Madrid two goals to one yesterday night. So the competition this year looks like it is going to be very fierce. You know, Real Madrid does not look like slowing down, and that's the more reason why Barca needs to keep winning. That's the more reason why we need to be consistent in our results. You know, because there's no room for mistakes. There is actually no room for mistakes. We can't, we can't rely on failure right now. We just have to keep winning because the way I'm seeing Real Madrid, they are going ahead and ahead. Real have won six games in a row, their first six La Liga game, and they have won all their games in all competitions this season. They are still to drop points in any competition. So let's see how it's going to look like after the international break where we take on Mallorca away from, from home. You know, but the Clasico is not far away. After taking Mallorca, we'll play Celta Vigo at the Camp Nou, then we'll play Real Madrid in what will be the first El Clasico of the season at the Santiago Bernabeu. So, talking about the Barca so far we've seen this season is really good. Apart from the loss against Bayern, which many fans were disappointed, but truth be told, we played well in that game. There's no denying. Barca played well in that game overall, especially in the first half. But it was just unfortunate that you know the, the the goals came fast and thick, and we could do nothing about it. But there's room for improvement. There's still room for improvement, you know. So let's see how it's gonna look like this season in the Champions League as well. That we ended disappointingly last season, going to the Europa League. Definitely, there's no fan out there who want to see Barca taking third, despite that we're in the group of death. 
We need to beat Inter Milan after the international break to at least solidify that position as second. And of course, let's see how the group is going to look like. We and Bayern, we are the favourites to qualify for that group, no doubt about that. So, with the way we played against Bayern, we can beat Inter Milan. There's no, I don't think there's anybody who can doubt that. But anything can happen in football. So, Xavi have really improved this team without any shadow of a doubt. And I still think we are still improving. This is just the stats. And the, the more the team plays, Xavi implements his idea in full with time, I think the team will improve and will play far better than what we are playing now. Because right now we are already smashing teams. If we, if we look critically, all the games that we have won this season, it's been three goals plus. All, I mean all. All the games, three goals plus. There's no 2 nil, there's no 1 nil, but 3 goals plus. That tells the power of our goal scoring department. Lewandowski is doing what Lewandowski does best. And it's really great to see how the team is playing. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Among several of Barcelona's success stories so far this season, one of them has been goalkeeper Mark andre Ter Stegen. The German international has shown signs of returning back to his brilliant best which is a key factor behind why Xavi's side have started the 2022-23 campaign in fine fashion. Why Barcelona are gunning for the La Liga title and success in the UEFA Champions League? Some of the players could also be eyeing individual prices. For starters, Robert Lewandowski looks a lock in for the Pichichi Trophy following his explosive start to the season and as per a report by Sport. Goalkeeper Ter Stegen has his sights set on winning the Zamora Trophy at the end of the season. The German international has been at Barcelona for 8 years now but has never ever win that coveted trophy given to the goalkeeper with the lowest goals to game ratio in La Liga for that season. Why he is here to win the award, it would be ridiculous not to bet on the former Borussia Mönchengladbach number 1 to be the victor of the accolade this time out, considering he has considered a mere goal in 6 league games so far. Apart from now Newcastle United striker Alexander Isaac strike in Real Sociedad 4-1 defeat to Barcelona on March Day 2, the inform shortstopper is yet to be bypassed in the division. However, Mark Andrete Stegen is yet to face stiff competition from um, Jeromino Rulli, who has also let just one go past him until this point of the campaign. But it is likely that the Stegen beat Rulli at the end of the campaign considering Barcelona a superior team on the whole and are only getting better and better under the keen eye of Xavi. Winning the Zamora Trophy, of course, will round up a season of redemption for the one much uh, maligned goalkeeper who has started the new season like a house on fire. So guys, to that we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, it's bye for now.